many of us are interested in investing our surplus money somewhere in the market, it may be buying shares, investing in mutual fund, investment in real estate, not only this, many of us are having that amount account for buying and selling shares. Besides, thousands of employees who are working to give us all such facilities including mangers in the primary market, secondary markets, stock exchange, stock brokers, real estate firms and agents and many more, work in a system and follow certain defined rules. And, one who are not involved in such things, but must used to listen in news that share market went down by this much point or gone up by this much point. Stock exchange rate is highly unpredictable, etc. So, the questions are, do you know, how all these employees, shareholders, investors, owners and their functions are controlled, managed, and regulated? How it possible to run all such multidisciplinary activities smoothly? Who controls share markets, stock exchange, etc.? And, who all does it or manage it? Well, the answer of all these four questions are one that is, Stock Exchange Board of India or simply say be in short. Hi everyone, your guess is right. In this video, I will be discussing all about SEBI in brief, but you will get all the required information, so be with us for next a few minutes. Let's begin with the first question that is, what SEBI is? Set up on April 12, 1992 in accordance with the provisions of the Securities and Exchange Board of India Act, 1992, the Securities and Exchange Board of India, or SEBI is a regulatory authority for the securities market in India. The SEBI is owned by Government of India. Originally SEBI was first established in 1988 as a non-statutory body to regulate the securities market. But soon it became an autonomous body on April 12, 1992 and was accorded statutory powers with the passing of the SEBI Act 1992 by the Indian Parliament. Likewise, SEBI became as the regulator of capital markets in India under a resolution of the Government of India. Next question is, where is SEBI's office? The headquarters of SEBI is located in Bandra Kurla complex in Mumbai, Maharashtra. However, its regional offices are located as, for Northern Region, Delhi. For Eastern Region, Kolkata in West Bengal. For Western Region, Ahmedabad in Gujarat. And, for Southern Region, Chennai in Tamil Nadu. Besides, some of its local offices are located in Jaipur, in Rajasthan, Bengaluru, in Karnataka, Guwahati, in Assam, Bhuvneshwar, in Odisha, Patna in Bihar, Kochi, in Kerala, and Chandigarh. Now, the next question is, what are the functions and responsibilities of SEBI? As defined in its preamble, the basic functions of the Securities and Exchange Board of India is, to protect the interests of investors in securities and to promote the development of, and to regulate the securities market and for matters connected therewith or incidental thereto. Likewise, SEBI has perceptibly three functions namely. First, quasi-legislative function, under which, it makes and amends the bylaws to regulate and ensure the smooth functioning of its own system. Second, quasi-judicial function, under which, it investigates and resolves the dispute that arises any point in time within its system and also passes orders time to time. And, third, quasi-executive function, under which, it enforces its bylaws and order to control and regulate the smooth functioning of stock market. Now, the next question is, whose interest SEBI protects? Largely, SEBI protects the interests of following three groups. Issuers of securities, include the companies or firms that issue their shares in the market. Investors, include any common person who buys and sells shares. And market intermediaries, include those people who facilitate such services, such as brokers and agents. Next question is, what is the structure of SEBI? SEBI as an organization comprises of the chairman who is nominated by the Union Government of India, two members 
who are essentially the officers from Union Finance Ministry, one member from the Reserve Bank of India. The remaining five members are nominated by the Union Government of India, out of them at least three shall be whole time members. Now, the last question is, how is SEB significant for an investor or even for a common person? If you are an investor, how much money you invested it does not matter, if something matters that is your investment, and if some dispute arises, it could be anything or either with a broker or with the company whose share you bought, then you can complain to SEBI. So, if you are having Vimalt account and buying and selling shares frequently or else you are any sort of investor in the market or broker, agent, etc., then you should must know the Securities Exchange Board of India. So, this is all about the SEBI. However, if any one of you have still any question or confusion or you want some more information on this, you may ask through the comment box given below. And, yes, if did not subscribe our channel by the time, then please subscribe it to watch more such informative videos. Bye bye, see you in next video.